but it's going to be an interesting couple of months lying ahead. We're probably going to be in the van full time now for the next two to three months. Very often you get a beautiful place and there's a sign that spoils it, but in Italy they put signs up for everything. So if it doesn't explicitly forbid you to do something, then generally it's allowed. We're Andre and Lisa. We quit our jobs in 2018 and started our life of full time travel. 2020 COVID hit the world and we got stuck in South Africa. We spent our time creating the perfect travel destination filter, but now we're ready for the next adventure again. Let's go, let's go! Okay, boys and girls, this is it. We're heading out. Beautiful sunny day. Time to hit the road. We're going places. Welcome to Lake Como, guys. So here we are. We struggled through Sunday traffic that's quite busy. I chose the route all the way along the edge of the lake so that it would be a beautiful drive, which it was, but uh, Sunday nice, afternoons nice, are perhaps nice. not the best nice. idea to be driving along Lake Como. It's quite tired, it's been a long day. We packed up our stuff, as you guys saw, and we left the mountain for the conceivable future. Yep. <laughs> we don't know when we're going to be back in Alzano. It feels a little bit surreal mm. to be in Mali and that this is now our home for, like you say, the foreseeable future. We don't know. We didn't even know where we were going to be tonight, to be honest. We may or may not return to Alzano later in the year as winter closes in. The weather chases us we don't know. in a direction. That's the direction we're going to go. But it's going to be an interesting <laughs> couple of months lying ahead. We're probably going to be in the van full time now for the next two to three months unless something At weird least. changes or someone offers us a job. And we are <laughs> heading in the general direction of west even south, though you might not west. say so. We fixed up a little drinkies. Sun's about to set fast. That looks and like it's going to be a good one. We're going to spend the next couple of days here actually. Just to sort of find our feet again and become comfortable in, in Mali. And because I've got some toys I have to test. You got toys? i got toys. Alright. <laughs> Hopefully the weather holds and we're going to have a good couple of days. And I'll oh, see you tomorrow I guess. Cheers. See you in the morning. Bing. Cheers. First night. Drink to you. Oh. Not too bad, eh? This water looks mm. beautiful. I have to go for a quick dip. Sure, I don't know, eh? Cold shower or cold swim? Hey, laundry. I'm gonna go to the laundry. I'm just going to go. So I'm so excited to be able to have a stuff now. It gives us a good reason also to come and look for spots like this on the lake to justify being here and to have something else to do here. It's really good fun. I mean, can you think of a more beautiful spot to have a maiden voyage? Just look at this.
There's Mummy. Take two. Safety first, guys. We went back to shore to fetch a flotation device. We are heading in that direction to the tip of the peninsula over there. And just beyond that peninsula is the actual Lake Como. And we want to be able to go see an abbey there. Gorgeous. Oh, it's uh, quite wavy out here. Ooh, you're the red. <laughs> and if you think I'm kidding, you can see all the splashes on my glass. Andre is rowing like a machine. And I'm getting splashed and a bit seasick. <laughs> but how cool is this? I think we made it to the abbey. Oh, we spotted this amazing little beach. Look at that. We're gonna beach. Oh. It's quite rocky and hard on the feet, but mm -hmm. still pretty. Sun's out. Not bad, eh? Just need uh, the water shoes to make it more comfortable. Definitely not easy to walk on these rocks. <laughs> the nice part is, at least when we arrived, everybody else left. Yeah. We beached ourselves. Uh, look, look at that. Cruising into the sunset. Look at Millie. Hello Millie. Oh, no, no. Yeah, all in one piece. Good, good job. Yeah. Awesome. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Funny face. Namaste. 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 Good morning, Mali. And good morning, Como. Going for a run. Lovely morning. It's quite chilly. This is doing some yoga. And we're just going to hang at the lake today. Later today, we actually have an interview with a local radio station in Cape Town. So we have to stick around the van. But we're just taking it easy. No major activities. Maybe this afternoon we're going to either take a row out again or a cycle. We'll see how we feel. But first thing first. Post exercise swim. Come in. Baby. Baby. Okay, yes. I'll take those in there. Okay, yes. Right. I'll first watch the expression on your face. Before you go into this water, you have to go into the Wim Hof space. Mind over matter. Cold doesn't exist. Cold is good for immunity. We need to suffer. <laughs> Was not expecting that. It's baby. <laughs> I don't have a inner Wim Hof. How's your Wim Hof method? <laughs> My Wim Hof method doesn't work so well. <laughs> Wim Hof method but failed. But it's beautiful. It just is. You have to appreciate these things when you're in a place like this. It doesn't matter how cold it is. <laughs> nice here, <Yeah>. darling. <laughs> That's my... I'm trying to... I'll be um, David Hasselhoff. You can be Wim Hof. <laughs> not sure if that's a good trade-off, actually. Okay, time for a quick shower and coffee. Although obviously we have cooking facilities inside the camper, it's quite nice to be able to just cook breakfast outside here on the outside stove. You don't always want your camper to smell like cooking. In fact, it's something we try to manage, but it's not always that simple. It just depends where you are. But here we had a campsite with tables and chairs and a view, so we might as well make the most of it. And freshly baked focaccia. Freshly baked focaccia. Anyway, breakfast. Eat. Eat. <laughs> eat. eat. You will eat. Eat. Mm -hmm. um, oh, look at the box. Breakfast is a view. Okay, guys. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> always fidgeting. 
<laughs> As you can see the lake behind us, we're actually waiting to join a Zoom meeting. Invited by Cape Talk Radio to have a chat about what we're doing. And I, I have actually no idea what the, um, the interview will be about. But it's a little bit strange actually having a live interview when you have no idea what their focus is or what, what they're exactly. going to talk about. As far as I know, the show is about people and traveling so i'm guessing that's what it's going to be about but i think we'll let the camera roll a little bit i know they do post some of their chats as as a, a podcast so oh, maybe it will become okay. available if it does i'll oh. add it to the link below otherwise uh, just keep watching lunch with pippa hudson on cape talk join the conversation now it's time for us to talk travel and when i tell you that our guests today are full-time nomads I don't just mean that they are away from home a lot or that they travel a lot. I mean that literally when we asked them in August, where can we phone you for this interview? They couldn't tell us. They didn't know where in the world they would be this week. They often don't know where they will be a few days in advance. Uh, their names are Andre and Lisa de Toy. They're South African born globe trotters. You have been pretty much permanently on the move for the last three years, give or take the months of lockdown, of course. Joining us from, I think, somewhere in northern Italy. Good afternoon, Andre and Lisa. Great to have you with us. Hi, Hi Pippa. Nice to be here. Where in the it's world are you? As you said, we are in north Italy. We're actually what most people will know as the big Lake Como. Yeah. And we are just on a small bay of that. It is the most staggeringly beautiful part of the world. I, I'm very, very green with envy right now. Um, <laughs> and we've got good summer weather, so I'll just make you a little bit more envious thanks, for thanks now. Thanks for rubbing it in, Lisa. I really appreciate it. Let's talk about how you got there because it's, it's a long and convoluted story. Firstly, how long have you actually been on the move traveling without a home base so we'll talk about what happened during lockdown that's the exception to the story but this this dates back about three or four years now doesn't it it's been it's been an interesting experience i must say i think it's just uh, around end of 2017 we were still contemplating some options and you know we were working professionals and the idea was always to travel while we work to prioritize getting away as much as we could on a yearly base and I think initially we thought well maybe we can combine this some way with our working career somewhere in 2017 something just changed a little bit I think we came back after a trip in 2016 out of Indonesia we were away for four weeks and for the first time at the end of that trip uh, me and Lisa looked at each other and we said you know I don't think I want to go home you, you know? know there's always at the end of a holiday trip you're always looking forward to your own bed and your own shower and that yep. was the first time we looked at each other and we just said you know what actually right now if we had to choose we would just keep on doing this let me thought, wait a minute if we're flying all the way to Italy from South Africa <laughs> we, can't, we can't just go there for a month or two and we, and we should be pushed everything forward we we just left South Africa around, what is it, April, May 2018, and for well, no intent to return. In, in a way, it's it's um, almost counterintuitive to the type of people we are. I mean, Lisa is is an engineer, and I'm an IT professional. So, so we're both we, very calculated we people. We calculated, we're analytical people, but the <laughs> reality and what we're doing now is actually so opposite to that. Yeah, I can literally not tell you where we'll be tomorrow. What happened last year, I just sort of put a pin in that idea, is that we, there's, no, there's no good time. There's always going to be a, a bad excuse or a good excuse not to do something. So you can only work with what you have at hand in that moment. I'm not saying throwing caution to the wind, and that's not what we're doing at all. But I think what we're trying to do is we're also trying to um, inspire people to know that there's alternative choices available than just going through the motions or, or, or believing it. You're sort of stuck in what society expects of you. The question is now, when when do you make that move? And, and that's a tricky one. If you When are you financially secure? In other words, how, many, how much money do you need to sort of live on? Uh, it's impossible to obviously predict the future. We got to a point where we said, I think we can do it. If we contain our, uh, your, our expenditure for the first five years, potentially we could do this for a long time. Everybody is asking about passports and visas. Are you traveling on your green mumbers or have you got an Italian passport, Lisa? We do actually have Italian passports, okay. but don't um, knock the green mamba because to be honest, our South African passport is incredibly strong. And actually for the whole of 2019, we predominantly traveled on our South African passport. Mm. The important things Weber, is that the way we travel is we don't set our hearts on this is where we want to go and then buy the most expensive flight, pay for a visa. We've always looked at what is a good opportunity. So we know we want to travel and from there, look for a cheap flight, look for where can you go visa free and rather look for opportunities like that than have your head up absolutely set on one thing. You know, what do you do? Do you have medical insurance that goes along with you or do you take your risks? 
Okay, no. Absolutely not. We're all calculated. No. So this, this, that's, just, that's probably the most important question we also get asked. Uh, one of the things we learned very quickly, when you're out of South Africa for more than 120 days, your local medical aid doesn't give you any overseas cover whatsoever. Yeah. And if people are more interested in more details to us, there are articles on our website, particularly to health and medical and travel insurance, as well as also budget reports. So one can get an idea of what, what we spending. are actually spending. Fantastic. Andre and Lisa, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Green with Envy, well, listening welcome. to the story. Stories, but you've shared some really uh, practical advice as well. We've got to hand over to our news team, but I will leave you once again with the website wewillnomad.com. There are podcasts, there's right. information, there are tools to work. Um, I won't ask you where you're off to next because I bet you don't know. I'll simply say safe travels to both of you and thanks for joining us. Thanks, Baba. Thanks Thank so you much, Baba. Keep well. All you too. Keep well. No, that was cool. I think we're going. That was good, babe. I think we did good. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Cape Talk. That was good fun, I have to say. I enjoyed yeah. that. Yeah, so mm. good job. Now we can go up. <laughs> the neighbors are just as happy we're done. Oof, the weather seems to have turned a little bit. Ish. But we're well, here you now, so let's go make the most of it and get a final sup in. Look at this. Check the sun out there, eh? What's going on up there? Yeah. Change your mind. Oh, let's just keep along the coast here a little bit. Let's see how it goes. So why are you standing again? <laughs> no, I think it's just too, there's too windy to stand. We went out for sup, but it's not the best of weather. We went out for sup, she said. Very we fun, she said. <laughs> Lovely weather in Italy, she said. Summer Italy, she said. Good morning, guys. Beautiful, overcast, freezing, according to Lisa. Morning. Been quite busy this morning already. Went for a jog. Went for a sup. Cue sup montage. Cool, eh? Good morning. Hey, man. Lisa's wearing a uh, like winter attire. I'm wearing a hoodie and I just went to go get a scarf. Dig out my scarf from the winter wear. Crazy person. No, actually, it's actually it's nicer outside than inside, I want to say. It's lovely. It's lovely. It, it does a little bit. Anyway, there's some washings. Mm -hmm. Van life. Now we're cooking some breakfast outside because we are packing up in the next 45 minutes, actually. Because we're out of here and then we're going to go to the north a little bit. And... I don't know, see what the weather does. If the weather sucks, we're gonna have to get out of here. But we have to move, so breakfast, then back up and go. And we wanna find a place that's a little bit different. We wanna find a parkejo. Exciting, it sounds so exotic. Not a campsite. Not a campsite. We're done glamming, we've had our vacation. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Real van life is coming up. Do we have breakfast? Yes, 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 please, yes, please. Thank you though, eh? Beautiful. Breakfast. Okay, wait, I have to show you this. So it's one of the benefits of being in a campsite and having an oven. We have electricity, I might as well use it. So I just pop it. a little bit of the fresh dough in the oven. And now we got beautiful focaccia for breakfast. How's that look? Mm. Next stop, shopping. My uh, favorite activity, not. Can we get a, a trolley? Yes. Can I have a trolley? It's like snappy. It's already like 71.
This is us. And look at that beach. Oh my god, we're gonna see it for a week. Wow, did I tell you I was bringing you to an amazing spot? Are you excited? Yay! This is my excited face. <laughs> okay, well, never mind him. I'm excited. Yes, it worked gonna, out. It I was gonna out. do my default walk around and take everything to Scotia, and it's actually a place we're supposed to be. And... You're supposed to pay for parking here. So from 8 in the morning to 8 at night, you have to pay uh -huh. 10 euro. And then from 8 at night until 8 in the morning, it's actually free overnight. See, it says campers. Okay, interesting phenomenon in Italy is now, in fairness, we have established this different in other countries like France. Then they're a little more, hmm, not so sign crazy. Now, very often you get a beautiful place and there's a sign that spoils it, but in Italy, they put signs up for everything. So if it doesn't explicitly forbid you to do something, then generally it's allowed. But this really helps if you see a sign like this. That means this, this municipal area actually have assigned this area for overnight for campus. Otherwise, there would have been a cross over the campus, eh? There's a campus service space for dumping grey water and I'm guessing fresh water. Yes, there's everything except electricity. Oh, perfect. And just look at this. What? Not what? too what? show me. Okay, now can you show me your excited face? <laughs> if we stay until the 30th of November after that, it's free. Oh, awesome. <laughs> because then never mind the sunshine, then we might freeze our butts off. Right. Even when you find a fairly level spot like this, it's not always that simple to get the van completely level. Whoa. Not the worst view in the world, although it's a bit dreary. Maybe it'll clear up later. Some hey, laptop clubbing. Warming coffee. Which I like. Well, good morning! Oh, yes! It's dripping with rain. But isn't this still the most beautiful view to wake up to on a dreary, drizzly, rainy day? Hello! Hello! What's going on here? We are staying for another two days. Alright, well, uh, <sighs> lovely night sleeping, but very, very wet. And it was like that day. It's drizzling again more. Ish. Okay. I got a bit wet. I need to go put some garbage out. Oh, fine. And then I'll make us a little coffee. Okay, coffee. Time. Breakfast? No, it's not quite breakfast. Too early for breakfast. So it seems like we're going to be stuck in the van for the day unless nature gives us a bit of break. It's such a beautiful spot, but sometimes this is a reality. You uh, mean you haven't been for a run this morning? I would love to. <laughs> we got to stay here until we can go run and I explore because there's actually a running cycling path right here. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> the realities of van life. Time for coffee. The realities of van life is that. I washed uh, our running stuff yesterday and still wet. So. <laughs> so we're gonna have a coffee. I'm gonna do some laptop clubbing, do some editing. I think we're gonna edit this video. Uh, it's been a pretty successful couple of days exploring Como. We'll have no idea. We might stay here a few more days. Apparently the weather's clearing up either later this afternoon tomorrow. If it's a nice day tomorrow, we're gonna definitely stay here because we right here on the water. It's stunning. We gotta see this place with good weather. But we hope that at least we've shown you a little bit of a difference of camping places on Lake Como. We carry on talking. I don't say anything. What? You always put me off. <laughs> I, I've got Harry Potter skills, magic, pudding up. <laughs> we hope you showed you a little bit of the difference between. Oh no! Stop eating all the cookies. You know cookies? Yeah, digestive biscuits. Apparently, it's quintessential breakfast fare. Yes, we're having an Italian breakfast this morning, actually. Did you see coffee? Or? And some nice digestivo biscuits. The only difference is we're having an Italian breakfast before our English breakfast. Yes. But we won't have lunch because Italians do it properly at lunch. Anyway, why do they call these digestives? 
Because they're good for digestion. Ah, uh, okay, perfect. Now she's more. Okay, anyway, wrapping it up. What were you saying? Staying at a campsite where you ride on the lakefront with ablutions and some facility, you're going to pay at least 25 euro per night versus a spot like this, which isn't a horrible parking where it just looks like a parking lot, but it's actually a nice parking spot. You can get away with 10 euro per night and you're still in mm. a beautiful location. You, you pay a bit of a premium <laughs> because you're on the lake. Uh, you can find spots like this with more services for Cheaper. Much less and even possibly free. A lot of places can but be free. But even so. around Lake Como, you can find places like this, which are absolute gem. As always. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching yeah. and good coffee to you. And we'll see you guys next time. If you're new to this channel, we are traveling Italy. Uh, well, actually, we're going to leave Italy sort of in the next couple of weeks. But we're full time in Mili Vanilli at the moment. Yeah. And we are trying to find warmer weather. Perhaps we shouldn't have been heading north. So smash that like button hit subscribe if you want to follow our journey so we'll see you guys next time ciao boing i'm so freaking angry i just gotta walk away from this guy okay we got the we got the cops i so badly want to fill it but i don't want to stick a camera on their faces so i'll just hide around the, the corner here